Alfred has been manufacturing deburring and beveling machines for over 30 years in our factory, primarily uh, the one located in Berlin of the five factories that we have located in Germany. This unit is our roll along what we call 6315 unit. It's our second largest unit. Our larger unit is a self-feeding unit that we just introduced to the market a few months ago. But on the 6315, you're going to find many features that you don't find on the smaller bevelers. Uh, number one, this has a, uh, an overload, electric overload, so that if you're stressing out the motor too much, it'll automatically shut down. Uh, the other thing is it has an automatic emergency switch off, like that, during operation, so you can get immediately a, a shutdown situation. Uh, it also uh, does not use our normal end mill technology. This particular unit has two wheels on it with six each uh, carbide inserts, and in this case we use a titanium uh, coated carbide insert, the standard uh, half by half square insert. Uh, the unit will bevel from zero, or very minor deburring, all the way up to an almost approaching three quarters of an inch on your bevel. It's our best selling unit in our heavy fabrication shops. Uh, it's very easy to dial in your depth by just loosening the tension on these two set screws and then turning this clockwise or counterclockwise to go up and down and to get a deeper bevel or a lighter deburring. It also has a directional arrow that shows you to go in this direction. If you do go in that direction and you have any kind of a, of a, a miss or an unsteady hand and you find that you don't have a very smooth surface, you just shut the machine down, come back and go over that surface again to get a very smooth finish. We also have multi-angles, infinitely multi-angled on this from 20 degrees up to, as you can see on the other side, 60 degrees. Just and very easily done by loosening those two so uh, socket screws and then tighten them again. This also has the built-in roller technology that smoothly allows you to roll the unit across the material that you're beveling. What we're going to do is uh, a small bevel here, and uh, we're going to show you uh, the performance of it. Normally when you start, you want to get off of the center position, over to here. Turn the unit on. You have a green indicator that the unit is on. We're going to push it with our left hand into the material, and we're going to maintain the level depth, levelness of it with our right hand. And we're going to move into the material. I've already done some bevels. As you can see, the end result is a very, very smooth finish. There are a few ripples in here. If I needed to smooth that out, all I would have to do is make another pass. This particular material is only 3 8 thick, so it's capable of taking up to about a 3 8 bevel. But if it was thicker material, say in one inch, I could go all the way in three quarters, but I would probably do that in two, maybe three passes, depending upon uh, your operational skill using the device. Again, it's 60, 6315 beveler, Alfred's second largest beveler.